hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'll be showing you how to cut and uh, sew a corset it is going to be a corset gown with a basque waistline if you are yet to see the uh, part one of this video i'll suggest that you go and watch it and see how i draft this pattern so this is my pattern set and this is the back this is the front and this is back and uh, this are the fabric I'll be working with. This is, I'm going to be using this for the upper part of the gown. And this is going to be my support fabric. I want to have that skin feel illusion. You see? So by the time I put it inside, this is how it's going to look like. And this is the lining I'll be using for the upper part of the gown. So for the lower part of the gown, I'll be working with this fabric. This is two years, and this one is two years as well. But what I'm having is super enough for me. So this is the lining I'll be using for the lower part of the gown. And of course, my Benjamin bobbin. So the next thing I'm going to do is to... Is to... Join this pattern together. This part, I'm going to join the two together. You can as well work with it like this if you choose to. But I'm going to join these two together. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get, is either you get a piece of paper and uh, extend your vast extension or you do that directly on your fabric. So I'll be doing that directly on my fabric. So remember that there is a center, the center. So what I'm going to do is to place it this way. So from this center front, I'm going to go down by one inch and extending the waistline by, sorry, by half, at four inches, sorry. So I'll do my four, I mark my four inches and I'll use my pattern master and connect back to the side. This way. Your basque extension can be 3 inches, 3.5 or 4 inches. Can you see the line? So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my seam allowance. I'm going to add a 0.5 seam allowance here and I'll also add a 1.5 seam allowance by the side and around the cup area I'm going to add a 0.5 here, 0.5 here, 0.5 okay so this is it I've added my seam allowance you can see so the next thing I'm going to do is to use this to cut out uh, use this pattern to cut out my fabric remember to add a seam allowance around it okay and also this piece remember to add seam allowance around it so i'll go over to the back so this is my back pattern and this is the yoke so the next thing I'm going to do is to open up this uh, dark allowance. I'm cutting the dark off. If you wish, you can work with it like this. But I want to open my... So I'll cut out the darts. 
can open up this pattern this way. So the back pattern is in pieces now. So this is it. So I'll use it and cut the my fabric. Please remember to add side seam allowance. There's no side seam allowance on this pattern, and also there should be allowance at this top part to join the yoke. That is, you are going to add a 0.5 seam allowance and around the ankle as well. So for the yoke, the front yoke, I will still go ahead and alter the neckline. The neckline here is 3 inches by 3 inches, so I will still go down by 1 inch. And at the shoulder here, I will, what I, have, I want is uh, 4 inches. So I will measure 4 inches and cut off the, the extra. Okay, so when I'm doing that, I will show you. And also for the uh, back yoke, I want a V neckline at the back so what i'm going to do since i want four inches at the shoulder i'll measure four inches and from where my four inches start i'll connect to this part i'll also show you when i'm doing that so the next thing i'm going to do is to cut the lower part of the gown so the next thing i'm going to do is to create my bask at the front lower part of the gown so I have here the main fabric and the lining. So what I'm going to do from this waist part, I'm going, I'm, I'll go down by 3.5 instead of 4 inches. Remember, I'm going to join to the uh, upper part of the gown. So by the time I join to the upper part of the gown, I'll have 4 inches. I hope you understand that. So I have a 1.5 seam allowance by the size. So I'm going to mark that. So at that point I mark, I will connect to the center front this way using my pattern master. So this is my basque, I will cut it off now. So this is it. So I've gone ahead to cut out all the upper pieces. You can see. So this is the lining for the pop. I also iron an interfacing to it. And um, for the main cup, this is the main cup. I use the fabric I use for the lower part of the gown to cut the cuff, as you can see. So I've already padded. So when I'm done sewing, I'll cut out the design on this lace, uh, sugar lace, and I'll use it to cover the cuff. So that's that. Oh, and also the back pieces, I'll cut them out, see them, and the lining as well. So coming to the yoke for the front and the back, remember I told you I'm going to utter the neck. So for the front, this is the front yoke. So there's a pattern for the front yoke. You can see I added my seam allowance at the damp parts, the damp both side and the shoulder parts. You can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the shoulder. I want my shoulder to be four inches. You see, it's a four inches I'll mark. Remember that I said that the neckline is three inches by three inches. 
So I'm going to increase the neckline, that is the depth, by one inch, making it four inch, four inches in total. So I'll connect and cut out. So this is it. I'm going to go uh, do the same at the uh, back yoke. So this is the back yoke. And this is the pattern. You can see I added the seam allowance at the lower part to join to the, the down part of the blouse of the gown. So this is it, you can see the seam allowance by the armhole and the down part. So the next thing I'm going to do is to alter the shoulder. Remember I use 4 inches for the front, so I'm going to use the same 4 inches for the back. So this is the 4 inches. Now I want my neckline to be a V-shape. So what I'm going to do now is to connect this way. So I'm going to mark and connect. Can you see? So let me cut it out so you can see the motion. So by the time I join to the other pieces, let me get them so you can see how the back is going to look like. Okay, this is how the back is going to look like. So this yoke is going to stop before the zipper allowance. So it's going to stop here, then the here is going to be the zipper allowance. I'm not going to fix loop on this corset, I'm using zipper. Okay, so that is that. So the next now, so this is the second side. This is where the zipper will be. Okay, this is the second side. This is the uh, yoke. Can you see? It's looking so beautiful. So by the time, uh, remember I'm going to join the species together. Join this one as well. So for the neckline, I'm going to finish it off using the bias tape. Okay, so that's that. So I'll go and uh, I'm, go I'm going to join my cup. When I'm done joining the cup, I will show you how to fix it to the other other part of the corset. So I'm done joining the cup, as you can see. I've gone ahead to finish up the neckline using the bias tape. So this is the front yoke. So this is the front yoke. And there's the back yoke. Can you see? So I've joined the back pieces together. There's a lining. And this is the main fabric. You can see. I've also fixed the lining cup. Can you see? So I will show you how to fix the main fabric cup. So we'll go over to the machine so I can show you how to do that. Okay, I will start fixing the cup now.
So when I get to this part that is curving, this part, I will notch it this way. I will notch it so that it will be easier for me to sew without packing underneath. So I'll continue. So I will do the same on the other side, on this side, and I will come back and show you. So I'm done fixing the second cup. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to fix the yolk. So I'm going to get the midpoint, pin it down to the midpoint of the, this part. So I'm going to sew the yoke and the main fabric first before adding the lining. So. I'll start sewing. So I'm done fixing the yoke as you can see. So the next thing is to turn, use the lining to cover the spots. And when I'm done doing that, I'll fix the yoke for the back. Then I'll come back and show you how to fix the volume. So I'm done fixing the lining as you can see. To cover the yoke edges. And for the back, I'll fix the yoke. You can see. This is the second piece. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to fix the bony. So coming to the wrong side of the fabric, you can see I've gone ahead to mark where I'll be fixing the bony. You can see some lines here. So that's where I'll be fixing the bony. So I'm going to start fixing the bony. So I'm going to be sewing very close to the edge with a matching thread.
So I'm done fixing the, the body as you can see. And this is the back. I only fixed two at the back each side. So this is the second piece. So I'll go and give it a good press, join to the lower part of the gown, fix my sleeve and the zipper. So this is my the sleeve. sleeve. I've already cut it out. It's a long sleeve. So when I'm done doing that, I'll come back and show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. You can see that the gown is looking so beautiful. So I plan covering the cup this way with my leftover fabric or even cover it full. What that has to be later. So this is the full length of the gown. And you see, so this is the full length and this is the back. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!